Okay, in today's video we're having a look at an Amitator 1280 uh, with the new um, CR4P um, DC controller. So we'll just remove the lid to get that out of the road. This controller um, has dial preset and manual control and lock feature within the actual controller. It has also dial preset up in here, dial, dial speed I should say, speed control because it is a DC rotator. So we have dial speed control up here in the top corner here. Get my hands out of the road to be able to see it working. Um, the controller, um, as I said before, was originally a dial uh, um, CR4P. Um, the transformer was removed because that was for an AC um, rotators. I had a new Australian made uh, transformer to um, get the voltages to the right level um, to run into the uh, speed controller which can only handle 35 volts DC input so I need to change the transformer to keep that down under it's about 33 volts offload I think it was at the present moment. We also have here um, sort of flaring out we have a, a small transformer uh, down here to run the display, the relays um, and everything else on the display side and the control circuits. Also down in, in here we have the uh, bridge rectifier and the capacitor for the DC side. And the, well I've got this position anyway, there are all, the all the relays um, have changed a lot of the actual um, post for the wiring to terminal blocks, there's, there's a, two PCBs, one for the, um, the dial preset and one for the display which is down the very bottom. The, uh, uh, let's see what I'll, uh, so I'm going to turn around to here, you can see the actual, the PWM uh, speed controller sitting here. Um, we have LED lighting which I'll show more later on hopefully. The LEDs are in here which shine into the lens. Uh, the lens has a reflector on it to redirect the light. Um, and, whoops. and the actual needle actually has an LED in the, in, in the middle but shines up into the end of the needle. So the end of the needle is illuminated blue, uh, which looks quite nice. So we have over here, um, I'll go this way have two resistors here for uh, the brightness of the LEDs which can just be changed by re-tapping it. Um, we also go around to the back. The original um, output terminal block which was a nine way was replaced with an eight because that's what fits in there. Uh, we only using five of, the, of these terminals. Also this controller had a AC control output to 100 um, 110 and 230 volts. Uh, well, I put a, a, a cinch socket in there instead, so we have two output terminals uh, to the rotator, whichever we want. We have a, a plug or screw terminals. Uh, they will all just use the five, I think, the five uh, points on them, not the full eight. We have a, stop this flaring out, have a fused IEC socket, which I've installed. We have an earth bolt, wiring cable for lengths of wire and stuff. Have the um, needle adjustment and the preset adjustment for all the controls and so I'll uh, spin around this way and see probably more in the transformer so we've got an angle here and so we're going into the let's turn it up this way now something from flaring out so you can see on the side and yeah so we just uh it's just been fully uh, rebuilt um, to accommodate the um, the twelve the twelve eighty rotator. Oh, by the way, there we are. Turn on this way. There's the wiring up in here, running off into two po uh, two uh, three way terminals. It goes to the actual um, direction switch. I changed the direction switch around. It used to run direct. Um, it was only a bit problematic to try and get to work uh, for the DC. Being the fact I couldn't double stack the rear, uh, these uh, micro switches, so I've actually remoted the the direction switch to key in the relays, just the same as it would do when the uh, when you're dialing presets. So it's the same sort of feature. So 
but uh, yeah, it just means just the relays are clicking in and out um, on the direction switch as well as the dial preset, so there's not much difference there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bit of a, a quick drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug him in since it's uh, all the stuff sitting here. We'll plug in the, uh, the IEC socket. We'll plug in, plug in my test cinch plug. Of course, this is all on the wrong side. That's, oh, that, might work. that might work. That'll work, I think. Yep. Plug this into the 1280 rotator. So there we are, Get ourselves all lined up, we'll turn him on, we're going to manual mode first, you have a switch here which is manual and preset, so we're going to manual mode, you may just see up in here when I turn it on, the little light comes on the end of the, end of the, end of the needle, okay for the first bit we'll just go for a quick drive, so as I said before the, the direction switches are in two stages, um, momentary and lock, so we just there's our momentary, and we just let it go, or we can go momentary, and then go into lock mode, and then we can actually dial the, the speed up and down if we wanted to. The speed is um, around 30 volts uh, down to slow at about 14 volts in the thing, it's giving me between 160 seconds and 80 seconds of rotation time. So we're just going down through west now. We'll just stop him there if we wanted to. Go to momentary a few times. And we'll just bring him around the south. It has overlap of about 10 degrees roughly. Okay, from there, since I'm already set at north on the dial preset, we'll switch him across over to the preset. Preset operation on this for the controller. As soon as you dial, move the dial preset, uh, it will start rotating straight away. Um, not like some other rotators, you've got to press the button to get the start. This one does it as soon as it, you touch the actual dial preset. So we'll bring him up to north. And while we're there, we'll just we'll change the, the speed down to slow if you really wanted to. There we go, let's put him up again a bit if you want to do, yep. Okay, let's go halfway. So this this rotator is for big ro big aerial systems, so you, you don't want to have you ripping it around really fast because the original 1200s, rotator 1200s, are 35 seconds for a uh, 360 degree rotation. I find that too fast. So basically, you can watch other videos on what I've done to the um, uh, to the tall body to, to achieve that. Um, so we'll just go into, let's go back to manual for a little bit. We'll just drive around manually. This is the, the CW side, so we can just go momentary. Or we'll just go lock. We're not rolling them properly. And we'll dial the speed back up. There we are, we're going around. Coming around the west, well let's, let's at least, there we are, and we'll do a slow start up, in, man in manual mode, and then we can dial up, let's, let's dial up out here somewhere, and we'll flip and cut across, change the speed, go flat out, This is coming around the south. There we go, with overlap. Done. We'll then uh, bring him back, see it start straight away. If I just go to here, so say 50 degrees roughly, it will stop there. 
Got a naughty. I tried to get the uh, the preset to be as accurate as I can get it. There we are, 90 degrees. Move back to north. And so you can have a look at the other videos on the 1280 rotator. It's exactly the same rotator internally. It has a massive big um, alpha plants. Uh, it's Mast hatch should say it can do um, 50 to 80 mil mast size. Um, they're, they're really heavy, as you can see, they're nearly the same height as the actual rotator itself. So, okay, so there we are. We've done a, a few uh, one and a half rotations of the uh, CR4 controller, uh, which now controls the uh, 1280 uh, rotator. Um, okay, Doc, I think that's all. We shall um, see you in the next video. Catch you later. I'll turn you off. Fine.